So the police has come to arrest you because you're charged with not appearing in court in a particular case. Why have you decided to not go with them? What are your concerns? What will happen if you are arrested? Well, firstly, I had protective bail to the 18th. So for them to come and uh, try and arrest me today is completely illegal. I mean, it, it's unlawful. And this was prepared beforehand, and I think they got unnerved by our huge rally yesterday in, in Lahore, which was a launch of our election campaign. And I think this is a whole part of the project to keep me out of the way, you know, to get me uh, out of the way of the, uh, uh, the election contest, either jail me or disqualify me or even, you know, the final solution. So therefore, I see this as part of that same uh, strategy. You said the final solution. Can you elaborate on that? Well, there's been, an, uh, as you know, an assassination attempt on me. And the people who were responsible for the attempt are all in power. And these uh, people are petrified that if my party wins, which all opinion polls now suggest that it's going to be a landslide victory. So therefore, they're petrified that if I get into power, I'll hold them accountable. And because of that, I think, uh, you know, that's why my life is in danger. Also, the interior minister who I've named in my uh, attempt on my life, he, he, the interior ministry has given a statement that my life is in danger. So the reason I could not appear in courts was because my lawyers were arguing with the, with the high court that, look, if you want, if they wanted me to appear, they, they should make sure there's security there. When the two times I appeared, there was no, secu uh, no security at all, the two times I appeared. So all we want is that uh, if they cannot provide security in the courts, they should then do it on video conferencing. If the police arrest you tonight, do you not believe that they will be able to keep you safe in their custody? Well, this is why you see the fervor outside, because no one trusts this government or the police. You have issued a call to your supporters to come out. And right now, the situation outside your residence is rather tense. The police and your supporters have clashed. Tear gas has been shelled on uh, on your supporters. How do you think this night will end? I don't know. Uh, the shelling was started by the police. The yeah, people were, they, there were very few supporters of mine today because no one was expecting that the police would come to pick me up because I had this protective bail. So when they came, they immediately attacked these people sitting there with water cannons and then later on tear gassing. They, these shells right in front of me, here they come. These shells you see, uh, they were right in front of my house, inside my house. All of us had, you know, to um, um, uh, wet our faces and, you know, because we were uh, suffering from this uh, effects of tear gas. I, I feel that they will pick me up tonight. The worry now for them is that there's a there were only a few uh, supporters outside. Now there are thousands of people who have come over because they're watching this on television. If the police arrest you, do you have faith in Pakistan's judicial system? Do you believe you will get justice? Well, the only hope is the Pakistan judicial system now. Because from all other way, uh, uh, if, you, if you look at Pakistan of today, it's a law of the jungle. Now, the worry is that... Uh, the government is so desperate and the parties in government are so desperate to get out of the elections that they would do anything like create an incident. And my worry is that if they create an incident, which will happen if I possibility of happening when I if, if they put me in jail, they will create that incident and that they will then try and get out of elections. <clears throat> In Pakistan's history, other popular politicians, including <coughs> former prime ministers, have been arrested. They have gone to jail. Their supporters have been killed. Why do you think the situation is different or what is different in your case? Well, uh, I can just tell you about Nawaz Sharif. The Nawaz Sharif was jailed, but then he was exposed in the Panama scandal where a lot of world prime ministers and <clears throat> ministers were, politicians were caught in the scandal where you know, they found money lying in offshore accounts. In that Panama scandal, four luxury apartments of Nawaz Sharif were exposed in the name of his daughter. That's how the case started. 
and he was jailed because of that. So that is a completely different thing to jail him than me being jailed for ridiculous cases like blasphemy or like terrorism or like sedition. In your message to your supporters, you said that there is one man who's making all the decisions for Pakistan. Who is that one man? Well, they, everyone knows. I mean, Pakistan, unfortunately, nothing happens without the right now. This government is totally dependent, dependent on the establishment. Nothing can happen, uh, you know, without their consent. I mean, this is too big a step for these, this government, which has no legitimacy, which has no roots in this country, uh, which has no moral authority because 60 percent of them on corruption cases, uh, bail from corruption cases. So therefore, the only uh, reason why they are there is because of the establishment. And establishment, I'm afraid, is one man. And who is that one man, especially well, the, for our audience? Uh, for the army chief. He makes the decisions. Whatever he says is followed. So in the past, you have accused the previous army chief of conspiring to ouster you. Now, do you, now you're saying that even the current army chief is against you? Well, that's not what I'm saying right now, but all I'm saying is that things do not happen in Pakistan right now in this current situation unless the establishment is behind you.